The wind howled through the streets, its mournful wails sending chills down my spine as I park my car in front of the old Hunt Brothers Pizza. The neon sign flickered weakly, casting an eerie glow on the cracked pavement. It was well past midnight, and the deserted town felt like a forgotten memory. The thought of a warm pizza was the only reason I'd risked venturing out here. Pushing open the creaking glass door, I was greeted by the faint aroma of tomato sauce and melted cheese. The air was thick, carrying an inexplicable tension that made me hesitate. I told myself it was just my imagination, that being alone in a pizza joint at this hour was enough to give anyone the creeps. Hello, I called out, my voice echoing through the empty space. There was no reply, just the distant hum of the refrigerators and the occasional rattle of a loose vent. The flickering overhead lights cast long, dancing shadows that seemed to play tricks on my mind. I approached the counter, my footsteps echoing in the silence. The menu board displayed faded images of pizzas, their colors muted and worn by time. I grabbed a laminated menu trying to ignore the knot of unease forming in my stomach. As I scanned the list of toppings, I noticed movement in the corner of my eye. Turning quickly, I saw a figure dart behind the swinging door that led to the kitchen. Hello, I called again, my voice trembling slightly this time. I received no response, only the lingering echo of my own words. Swallowing hard, I took a step towards the kitchen door. It swung back and forth, its motion slowing until it finally settled. Taking a deep breath, I pushed the door open and peered into the dimly lit kitchen. The stainless steel counters gleamed dully under the pale light, and the oven stood silent and cold. The hair on the back of my neck prickled as I scanned the empty space. There was no sign of anyone and yet I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Maybe it was just my mind playing tricks on me, exhaustion mixed with the strange atmosphere of the place. Deciding to shake off my unease, I returned to the counter and picked up the phone to place my order. But as I dialed the number, the ringing echoed, not from the phone itself, but from somewhere deeper within the building. The sound was distant, as though it was coming from the heart of the pizzeria. A chill ran down my spine, and I slowly placed the receiver back onto its cradle. I turned to leave, my heart pounding in my chest. Just as I reached the glass door, a loud crash echoed from the kitchen. I whirled around, my eyes wide with fear. The source of the noise remained hidden from view but a sense of dread settled in the pit of my stomach. Summoning what little courage I had left, I stepped towards the kitchen once more. As I entered, a gust of cold air hit me, raising goosebumps on my arms. The swinging door was still, the silence heavy and suffocating. And then I heard it a faint whisper, like a soft breeze carrying distant words. My pulse quickened as I strained to listen. The words were indistinct, a haunting murmur that seemed to come from all directions at once. Panic bubbled up within me, and I stumbled back, my heart racing. What was happening in this place? My eyes darted around, searching for an escape route. That's when I saw movement again, shadow shifting across the floor. I froze, my breath caught in my throat. The shadow grew larger, taking on a humanoid form, and my instincts screamed at me to run. But my legs felt like lead, refusing to obey my frantic commands. The shadowy figure seemed to sway, as though it was hovering between this world and the next. Its form was insubstantial, like a living shadow cast by a hidden light source. It stretched, 
and elongated, reaching towards me with ethereal tendrils. I could almost make out a face within the darkness, its features twisted into a grotesque mockery of humanity. Fear gripped me in a vice as I finally managed to break free from my paralysis. I turned and fled, my footsteps echoing through the empty pizzeria. Behind me, the whispering grew louder, an unintelligible chorus of voices that seemed to follow me, taunting and mocking. I burst through the glass door and stumbled into the night, gasping for breath. As I leaned against my car, trying to steady myself, I cast one last glance at the Hunt Brothers Pizza. The neon sign had stopped flickering, casting a steady, eerie glow onto the deserted street. There was no sign of the shadowy figure, no trace of the haunting whispers. But the feeling of unease lingered, a reminder that some mysteries were never meant to be unraveled. To this day, I can't explain what happened in that abandoned pizzeria. Was it a trick of my tired mind, playing tricks on me in the dead of night? Or did I stumble upon something darker, something that defied logic and reason? One thing is certain, I'll never forget the chilling encounter that unfolded in the shadows of the slice. A memory that haunts me whenever I pass by an old, deserted building in the dead of night. <laughs>